this week and then you can just make sure this okay. week you manage to do most of it. Okay? Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sure. okay. hi you guys. Hi. All right. <laughs> oh. For the next week, our um, activities are, so if you go into uh, assignments, up here again, and click on assignment, I don't know why it's not reacting. Go. Go um, to Teams. Back into assignments. And this should have refreshed. So next. Okay. So here is week seven. You guys see that? Okay, yes. so you click into there, and then we've got the four activities. Okay, so here's the outline. Okay, so you're going to practice and record your Pizza Napoli role play, uh, either with Miss Wolf, probably with Miss Wolf, I suppose, um, similar to the job interview. Um, that's what we're going to be doing uh, from like next session with our level ones. And then we have one more to do after that. And then there's the, that's the three for the standard. Um, the other one that we're doing is meeting a friend at a cafe. So that's the one that's after the pizzeria. So we have job interview, pizzeria, and meeting a friend at a cafe. Um, so... The written work that we've been doing at level one is to complete a form. Um, there are two form worksheets. One is the practice one um, that you can do uh, with Ms. Wolf. And then there's the assessment one that uh, you need to do yourself. And then uh, what it will need to be is printed out though. I'm just thinking how that Will you be able to print the document where you are? Uh, yes. Yes? Yeah, How about you, Satomi? Can you print? Mm, no, no. I can't. No, I can't. You can't print? All right. I will see if I can make a, um, a version of the form that you can edit online. Yeah, thank you. We will see. And then finally, uh, when you finish that assessment of filling out the form, there's uh, two reading comprehension worksheets as well. So we'll close this and I'll show you what everything looks like. So the first one you'll do is practice speaking and filling out forms. It's this one here, the third one down. Okay, we'll open that one up. And what this is, is three different circumstances where you're speaking to someone and you're getting details from them to fill out on the form. Okay, so the first scenario is being a police officer. one of the drivers for their personal details, like their name, their phone number, their address, and filling it out in the right spaces. Okay? okay. Then there's two more. One is a parent who's going to do scholarship and a country entry visa, a customs form, is the last one. Okay? And then when you've finished practicing those and you're feeling good about it, uh, then this is the assessment form. It's the form for getting your driver's license. And then basically, it's just writing in your details, you know, handwritten, uh, preferably. Um, and then with your signature at the end. And then I'll be looking for that everything is got the correct capitals, right? Your address is written correctly and all of the information is in the space that it's supposed to be in. 
Okay, so it, when it says your surname, then you put in your last name, and then your first name, where that goes, date of birth, just checking that all of that is correct. Okay. And then finally, the two reading comprehension ones are about jobs in Britain and how screens took over our lives. And what they basically are is a text that you read through and then you have some questions to answer about what was happening in the in the text. Okay? And so when all those are completed, uh, again, you'll do it just the same. You'll press add work and then upload it into here and then press turn in up okay. here. Okay? Cool. All right. Any questions, just message me on chat as well. Okay? You can just write me, say, oh, I don't understand this. Can you tell me again? Okay? Cool. Okay. Okay. So, um, I think what we need to do first is just practice that um, job, the um, ordering the pizza, and then we're going to record that. Maybe the two of you can do it, and we'll do the same thing. Or do you have someone at home you can do that with? You have someone at home. Do you have someone at home, Satomi? to do the assessment with? No. Okay. So we can either um, do it here and we can do what we did last time and take it off. Okay. And copy it. Um, but we'll have a practice now and we'll see how it goes. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So if you go back into assignments, all right. And